Hey guys, so I can't sleep. For whatever reason, I cannot sleep. And then I heard in my head, pretty much, read three times. And God has been telling me to read all day. Or I should say, at the, <laughs> at the end of the night, he really told me to read. Y'all know how much I hate reading. Um, I do want to say thank you guys. Uh, real quick, all of you guys, every single last one of you guys that, uh, kind of giving me good messages, it's kind of encouraged me to keep going with these videos non-stop, even though I was going to do it anyways, but put a smile on my face. Um, now with that said, let me go ahead and get into it. So here's the deal. I, uh trying to sleep and he said read the third time I finally said okay fine, fine. I uh, opened this up oh put my fingers in the Bible waited until I felt like okay this is the page I need to open up to and then I opened it turned on the light turns out it was Leviticus right so that's Le well It'll focus Leviticus chapter 4. And I looked at this exact section right here. Just this little bit. But it includes all of this, I'm sure. And it says, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a soul shall sin through ignorance against any of the commandments of the Lord concerning things, which ought not to be done, and shall do against any of them, if the priest that is anointed do sin according to the sin of the people, then let him bring for his sin, which he hath sinned, a young bullock, without blemish unto the Lord for a sin offering. And he shall bring the bullock unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation before the Lord, and shall lay his hand upon the bullock's head and kill the bullock before the Lord. And the priest that is anointed shall take of the bullock's blood and bring it to the tabernacle of the congregation. And the priest shall dip his finger in the blood and sprinkle of the blood seven times before the Lord, before the veil of the sanctuary. And the priest shall put some of the blood upon the horns of the altar of sweet incense before the Lord, which is in the tabernacle of the congregation, and shall pour all the blood of the bullock at the the top, bottom of the altar of the burnt offering, which is at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And he shall take off from it all the fat of the bullock for the sin offering, the fat that covereth the inner inwards, and all the fat that is upon the inwards, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is upon them, which is by the flanks, and the call above the liver with the kidneys, it shall he take away, as it was taken off from the bullock of the sacrifice of peace offering, and the priest shall burn them upon the altar of the burnt offering, and the skin of the bullock, and all his flesh, with his head, and with his legs, and his inwards, and his dung. Even the whole bullock shall he carry forth without the camp un unto a clean place where the ashes are poured out and burn him on the wood with fire where the ashes are poured out shall he be burnt okay um i'm just gonna finish up with that with that said i believe this is a message to america and israel both um at least that's what i'm feeling I also feel as though this applies essentially to a very specific event that may be going on very soon. Um, there is a prophecy that's fulfilled that is going to be fulfilled. And the prophecy is very simple. When Israel is destroyed, Jerusalem will stand, but only the remnant in the temple will, re will remain my understanding um, I could be wrong because again 
this this all boils down on whether I'm in, interpreting things correctly. I've been wrong about a lot of things in the past with timing. Not necessarily wrong with uh, exactly what's going on. So with that said, God bless each and every one of you. Uh, it is November 1st, actually. Uh, it's really early in the morning. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to sleep. I will more than likely post this tomorrow. Have a, so God bless you guys.